Good morning and welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation. The truism about trust is found in the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. The Bible said, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not into thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. You see, I don't have problem trusting God as long as I have some element of control in the matter. Well, then that, by nature of definition, erases the fact that I am actually trusting God. I mo most often trust myself more than I trust the Lord. And I think you could probably testify to the same in your own personal life. But true trust deals with the fact that we have zero control and that God is running the show and we are placing our faith in him that the God of all the earth will do right. There is a, I was reading Tim Hansel's, uh, out of Tim Hansel's book on, on uh, the title is Holy Sweat. And he was talking about his son. He said he and his son were on some cliffs climbing together when he was just a wee boy. And he said that, uh, he said he heard, catch me, daddy. He said, I wasn't looking at my son. And when I turned around, I saw my son was in mid air. He said, I caught him and we tumbled through the air uh, like circus acrobats, finally landing on the ground. And he said, I looked at my son and said, son, what in the world made you want to do that? He said, well, daddy, I'm going to quote the little boy. He said, I can tell you for sure. He said, it's because you're my dad. In other words, he was saying, I can do what I want to do in regard to my safety because you are my daddy and you're going to take care of me. Now, we as believers know that our God can be trusted in much the same way. Now, we don't tempt the Lord our God. But yet at the same time, we do trust in the Lord our God because he is our father. The Bible said in 1 Corinthians 8 and 6, But to us there is but one God, the Father of whom all things are, and we in him. Ephesians 4, 6. There's one God and one Father of all who is above all and through all and in you all. Matthew 23, verse 9. And call no man your father which is upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Psalm 68, verse 5. He is a father of the fatherless. A judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation. It is Jesus that said, when you go to prayer, say, Our Father, which art in heaven. May I say this? Just as my children, all five of them, and all of my grandchildren, can trust dad and papa, so you can trust the Lord. Even more so, I am sinful, frail, and faulty, but our God is perfect, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and he can be trusted. As the songwriter said, only trust him now. Consider what I say today and have a great day.